Hey guys, it's Alexis, Sophie Leather. First video of the year. I hope you guys had a good new year and a good holidays, a good Christmas. Um, I took my beard off. I do it once a year, I think. I think that's a new tradition. Makes my wife happy, I don't know. Uh, my kids my kids call me egg, egg face. So it takes like a week for them to get used to it. Hold on, I got the text. Um, anyway, in this video, it's gonna be a quick one. Um, these pair of suspenders are super salty and the back tore up. This is, this is one of the main reasons why I make them this way, because it's easily fixable. I just gotta get a new piece here. So what we're gonna do in this video is gonna be a quick one. I'm gonna DC this, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, Cause these are riveted in with brass rivets and I'll show you the easiest way of getting, getting rid of that, okay? Um, and then we're gonna clean it up, reassemble it, and that's it. So let's uh, change the camera angle. That's a judo chop, I don't know why I did that. All right, so in order to DC this, I know a lot of guys drill this out with a drill and do all this crazy stuff, but what I'm gonna use are my nippers. These are my 14 inch nippers. And all I'm gonna do is grab back here, not on the good, not in the good part, but the bad part, because this will mar up the leather a little bit. So the easiest way of doing this is I have no way of doing this the easiest. I just always just kind of wing it like that. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing it right there. And it's going to completely ruin this leather, but we're getting rid of it anyway. And I'm just sandwiching it this way and I'm going to cut it off. Okay. I think you have to have Wheaties in the morning in order to do it. To me, this is the easiest. And the reason why I say to take it off on the bad side is because it will mar up the leather a little bit. Um, there's no other way around it. Get a good bite, cut it off. And then you pop these jokers out. Okay. You use this handy dandy pencil here that I have here. I'm talking too much, this is dumb. But uh, that is by far the easiest way of getting rid of that. I'll show you why you wanna grab, see the, the front piece, hold on. The front piece, the front piece didn't really mar it up. But you can see back here where it kinda of dug into the leather a little bit. So make sure you pick and choose where you're gonna bite that thing. But uh, that's it, we're just gonna clean it up now. And that's it. Actually, let me uh, cut that piece out real quick. When I say cut, I mean click out real quick. The piece that I need, Dunskis. Oh, I got too lazy and I clicked too fast and I gotta burn that off. All right. Yes, I am wearing socks. Don't judge me though. Just burning off these little hairies. What am I doing? I'm like in a rush. I got somewhere to go, somewhere to be. I'm just gonna bevel this real quick, burnish it real quick. Put the new piece on, call it a day. I already put some uh, water and some glycerin soap. By the way, you know where I went? I drove all the way to this place in Georgia. It's called L-E-J or L-E-J, L-E-J, L-I-J. Somewhere in the mountains. I have some family that, that they have property in the mountains. So we stayed up there for a couple days. But the drive, L-E-J, L-E-J. But the drive from Central Florida to LEJ, Georgia, LJ, whatever you call it, was a nightmare. Primarily because of Atlanta traffic. I don't think there's a right time to drive through Atlanta ever. It was literally bumper to bumper for like an hour and a half. It was the worst. Although on the way back home, um, we hit no traffic. So I don't know what the right time is. All right, enough about that. Let's uh, clean these chokers up. This is Bevel and Burnish, it's a new piece. I'm gonna take these off and we'll clean them up real quick. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, oh, well, these are super salty, dude. What's this guy, a fireman or something? Whoa, this guy bent. 
he bent this. Look what he did. Look how bent that joker is. And the buckle. Wow. That is bent, dude. Look at that. What is he doing? Is he training jujitsu with this on? I mean, I don't blame him. But, all right, let me uh, do a quick, quick wash real quick. Just got some water, a clean rag, so you can see how much dirt comes off of this. This is not gonna be a super deep clean, but uh, kinda wanna freshen it up for him a little bit. Water, let's hit the back, some glycerin. This is just glycerin saddle soap. And let's take off as much, let's see what comes off. Whoa, look at that, dude. How dirty is that? Look at that. That's grody face. Like I said, not a super deep clean, but uh, better than what it was when I got here. Dude, that is grody fest. Looks good though. He's the kind of guy that doesn't want it super clean. He wants it to look salty, you know what I'm saying? I don't blame him. But we're gonna have to recondition this with my secret sauce. All right, I won't hold you for this part. I gotta do the other pieces and then we'll pick up attaching that other piece and then calling it a day. I do wanna show you one thing when it comes to situating these because there is a right way and a wrong way Okay, it's kind of counterintuitive. So let me show you in a second, hold on. When I reattach this, there's gonna be a tendency, you see how this is bowled this way? You're gonna to wanna to make this the left shoulder and the, right sh uh, and the right shoulder. That's actually incorrect. The proper way is, is counterintuitive. So if this is bowing this way, it's supposed to sit this way. They're supposed to do this. So this is the correct way. This is actually the right shoulder and this is the left shoulder. So that's something to keep in mind when you're taking your suspenders apart. They always, they always do like a C towards the outside. It's kind of counterintuitive because you want to do this and that's, that's actually not accurate, it's this way. So let me go ahead and put this piece on back here and then we're done. <sighs> Somebody keeps calling me, dude. It's my wife. Yes. I'm in the garage, I'm doing a quick video on YouTube and now you're on YouTube now. Oh, okay, bye. Bye. That's garbage, look at this. Look at that, garbaggio. All right, we'll do this real quick. One, two, three. Right here. Now, I gotta keep in mind what I said earlier. I'm gonna leave these out for him. So you can pick him up at his leisure. Oh, now I got this upside down. Wait a second. Right shoulder, and that's gonna be left shoulder. Do I have this right? Now I'm confused, because I have to do this upside down. Okay, wait a second. This is gonna be the right shoulder, and that's gonna be the left shoulder, so it's gonna go this way. This is where you will mess up, when you have to flip it upside down. Unless, of course, you rivet the opposite, which I don't. I do it this way. It's a lot of talking. Is that right? Yeah. Too late now, committed. And of course, when these fail, I'll go ahead and uh, fix those for him when he comes back. But you saw how easy that was to repair that real quick. It's taking me longer because I got to operate the camera. But I can re repair something like this in 10 minutes. All right, let me put some secret sauce and that's it. All right, I'm gonna put some of my secret sauce on there. I have a video on how to, how to make this sauce. It's basically neat's foot oil and beeswax. And a lot of guys don't, uh, a lot of guys don't bother conditioning their leather 
And I, I venture to say this has not been conditioned after eight years, six years, something like that. And it's still holding up. That's because this is English bridal. Uh, <clears throat> but I do offer my secret sauce you can buy. I'll put a link in the description. Um, or you can make it yourself. I actually have a video on how to make it. Pretty easy, crock pot and two, uh, two uh, ingredients and that's it. And you'll have this for the firehouse. You could just have a whole bunch of this laying around or you could just give me your money and then I'll ship you some. No big deal. Okay. I might throw this out too. Done. Put the buckles back on. Oh man, you know what? I forgot to put some secret sauce on the buckles. That really does help. Okay, here we go. I'll throw this out. All right, she's done. Repaired, sauced up. Took no time to repair that piece. But that's it guys. I'll put a link in the description where you can uh, buy my uh, leather conditioner. There's also a video somewhere on my leather crafting tips on actually how to make it. And um, really useful to have at the, fire, at the firehouse is leave a pot there and uh, it'll last you forever. But uh, it's all natural ingredients. Anyway, I don't know what this video is all about, but yeah, done, refurb. Let me do a thumbnail. You guys can leave, I'm just doing thumbnail. Nah, I refuse. Alright, bye.